Nursing is more than just a back-breaking job. It's a vocation that requires a lifetime of commitment and compassion. It is one of the nation's most respected profession that has many different fields where you can offer your service to many people. And one of them is being an institutional nurse. So how is it like to be in it? Being an institutional nurse takes a lot of devotion. You have to give care to your patients, you have to devote your time, especially you need to give unconditional care to them. Uh, mostly you need to bear with them, uh, you need to feel their pain and what they're experiencing right there and then. And being an institutional nurse, you need to do your best all the time. To my end, I, I believe that it is a great honor to become a nurse because this is the only profession where you can combine your hands, your skills, and your heart. Um, in the year 2007, I started as a staff nurse. Being a staff nurse comprises of this type of job descriptions. Um, in the morning, we will do our chart rounds, receive our patients and then check the gravity of our patients if they are for pediatrics, ICU, or geriatrics. From then on, we will be giving off their medications. We also do perform bed bath for our patients, um, encompassing all their needs emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically. So we do that as well. Becoming a nurse is when you begin to listen with your heart and hear with your soul to a patient's needs and worries. It is when you assess courage and spirit in scars and take care of them until they get healed. It is when you have the knowledge to administer the daily pills, give a shot, and provide therapeutic measures to aid in their recovery. It is when a smile and a gentle touch of the hand can provide comfort to relieve pain. Hospital institutions contain hundreds of people who need a nurse's optimum care. And being an institutional nurse gives you a priceless job that permits you to save and change lives. Nursing is an art, an art of caring. I started here in the AUF in the year 2006 as a nurse volunteer. So the chief nurse and the staff nurse introduced how they do chart rounds, give some medications. And from then on, I started to love the work, giving your full service and quality patient care. Um, but then in the year 2008, the College of Nursing gave a good opportunity to me to share my expertise to second year and third year nurses, um, students. So I, I started to teach RLE and then I started to supervise them. Um, during their duty hours. But then again, uh, I believe um, being uh, a hospital nurse has a different calling from being a clinical instructor. I do love to teach new nurses on how to become a good one and how to share your, your expertise, your passion. But then again, um, I guess it's, it's really of a great uh, devotion and to see your patients get well, say, um, hear them say thank you for taking care of them, and then giving quality service, um, and then giving some uh, quality education on how to take care of themselves. So I, I went back to AUF in the year 2009, and uh, from then I started to become a charge nurse and a head nurse of the unit. In our institution, I work as a staff nurse, uh, and the areas I'm covering are the ward, basically the male ward, the female ward, and the OB guide ward. So here in our institution, we use computers to make our work simpler. Basically, we use computers to charge the patients' uh, bills, uh, like the materials they're using and the medications they use. So this saves us a lot of time and makes our work a lot easier so, and it also saves on paperwork.
As the use of the computer spreads, more and more institutions have to reconfigure their operations to comport with the new capacities and constraints it creates. In the process, society as a whole becomes increasingly dependent on large, intricately interrelated technical systems. A cardiac catheterization can check blood flow in the coronary arteries, blood flow, and blood pressure in the chambers of the heart, finding out how well the heart valves work and check for the defects in the way the wall of the heart moves. In children, this test is used to check for heart problems that have been present since birth. MRI or magnetic resonance imaging scanners help diagnose multiple sclerosis, brain tumors, torn ligaments, tendonitis, cancer, and strokes, to name just a few. An MRI scan is the best way to see inside the human body without cutting it open. On the other hand, a CT scan is a computerized tomography scan. It uses x-rays and a computer to create detailed images inside of your body. CT scans are also sometimes known as CAT scans, which stands for computerized actual tomography. The images produced by a CT scan are called tomograms and are more detailed than standard x-rays. A CT scan can produce images of structures inside the body, including the internal organs, blood vessels, bones, and tumors. One of the most commonly used modernized technologies is the use of hemodialysis machine. It is used to treat people in the later stage of kidney failure. This treatment cleans the blood and removes wastes and excess fluid from the body, which are normally removed by the healthy kidneys. Sometimes, dialysis is a temporary treatment. However, when the loss of kidney function is permanent, as in end-stage kidney failure, Dialysis is required on a regular basis. The only other treatment for kidney failure is a kidney transplant. The process of hemodialysis pumps the patient blood against the diacylate that may be generated by the dialysis machine or at a central location. for requesting medications, for laboratory results, and requesting medical supplies. Before, we use manual system, which is handwritten, but as the technology gets upgraded, HIMSS is very important to, for us nurses to make our work easier. Nurses have been referred to as the angels you can see when you survive. They will always give us hope, an angel with a stethoscope. Nurses serve their patients in the most important capacities with caring, knowledgeable professionals committed to quality care.